So we're going to talk about how to upload a video to YouTube. Um, some people I've talked to have trouble, so I figured I would just show them what it is I do. And um, we've got this one video that we've created, how to combine videos for upload, and that's going to be our uploading demo. So as we work through this, um, I'm already logged in to my uh, Gmail. And remember, your YouTube can be linked to your Gmail. So if you already have a Gmail, setting up YouTube is not an issue. And if you already have YouTube, then you probably already know how to do this. So here we are. And we're just going to go to my channel and just really show you what this first menu looks like. Um, oftentimes when you go to upload a video, it'll throw this error and they'll say, oh, to improve your experience, update your browser. You can do this. You don't have to. There's always this button. Sometimes you have to scroll to the bottom to see it. Um, just skip to YouTube. And then the first thing it does is say, okay, well, you want to drag and drop some files to upload. Well, okay. Um, before we do that, we want to make sure we have a playlist. So what we can do is go into the menu and say, okay, I've changed my mind. I kind of want to browse first and figure out if there's a way I can create my playlists here. And so I'm on the left side tab, and these are all the playlists that have been created to teach people how to do processes or have interviews to discuss how things work. But in the top right corner, there's a button called New Playlist. And we'll just call this uh, Digital um, Uploading, maybe. More likely to just call it um, digital archiving because it seems more important uh, to just sort of document some processes. So I'm going to change it to digital archiving um, because as we put all this data up, it's sort of like creating a library for people to reference. And so I'm going to leave it viewable to the public. And there's our new playlist. And so now we can go to create and upload our video. And we're just going to have this one be how to combine videos for upload. And uh, so the first thing it does is it takes your file name, right? So we've already named the file and uh, it eliminates the underscores and just puts in spaces. So it takes the file name and immediately names it. And what you can do is you can change that, but you don't have to. And so um, things I will always do is I'll make sure that somewhere on my clipboard I have this video link copied um, so it's easy for me to find. And then it's going to say, okay, how would you describe your video? So this video is to help people understand how to combine videos. And I'm going to clarify here, these are dot .move files. files in quick time to prepare the movie for upload. Okay? So you just want to have something with a little brevity. Simple, clear description. And then you're going to select what it is you're, you're covering. So this one's just going to go in digital archiving. Um, even though we're archiving a blacksmithing video and those will get uploaded later. Um, I prefer to just, you know, give yourself a couple of playlists, and if there's redundancy, just nest them both in there. So oftentimes you'll see that my 3D printing and CAD modeling will be overlapping, and so they'll be in both, or blacksmithing and armor, same story. Um, I leave my videos made for kids. This eliminates people putting in a bunch of comments, and um, I love the internet, but sometimes people just, you know, don't want to be nice, and so when that happens, um, it's a little frustrating. And then you can tag it with uh, subdirectory files. So if you're trying to sift through a sea of data, you could figure out what this is. So this is, um, this is uh, QuickTime Movie. And then you can put a comma in for your next field. And so assembling. Dot moves. 
in video editing. So you try to be as descriptive as possible, but just know there's so many people putting so much stuff on the internet that it may not come up automatically. So you can always just send this hyperlink right to your friends who are trying to find whatever information is available. And so at that point, all you have to do is make sure you have the license um, you want. I do everything Creative Commons, so anyone can view, anyone can share. You may not want to do that. You may just want this to be specific to students or friends. Um, and I don't care who likes or dislikes my video, so I always uncheck that box. And um, I don't always notify my, my subscribers that a new video is up because I post so much content. You can clarify all of this. Um, whatever specifically fits what you're trying to do. Um, how to and style would be most appropriate or education, but I just leave it as people in blogs. So the last thing that's gonna happen is as the uploads complete, the processing will begin and you can start to select the image for your video. And you wanna get something that's um, you know, descriptive of what you're trying to do. I don't always um, push the information beyond uh, what's there. Some people want a very catchy image so that it'll get more clicks, but for what I'm trying to accomplish, clicks are not important. Um, you don't have to do anything on the video elements. And then you do want to establish whether or not this is a private video for you and the person to share if you want it unlisted so it's harder to find, or if you're just going to leave it public so anyone can view the video. Um, if you want it to be the first thing to pop up, you can set as instant premiere. I let um, my viewers just sort of sift through the library. They know what they're looking for. And so um, now we need to go back and before we click um, publish, we want to go back and make sure we've selected whichever uh, video process shows up. And if you're getting impatient, you can just pick one and not worry about it. But if um, you truly care, you'll, you'll sit down and you'll, you'll take the time to wait and all that. So I'm going to copy this and just put it over in... Um, text edit just so I have it somewhere um, and that will make it easier to track the hyperlink I'll put it in my email or if I have a spreadsheet that archives everything you can find all that data but it's not that big a deal so the upload time is taking a while I think that's probably because we're recording video while we're trying to upload um, and you can check that in your your processing power if, if that's a concern so we're just going to select the middle image and call that good enough. And then press next. Next. And this is your final one. So once you press publish, um, it's on the internet forever. So here we go. Publish. And so it says the upload's complete and it'll process shortly. And then once it's done processing, it will show up on YouTube. So you can just press close. And that should be the end of the video.